Here's a little test with some mushrooms and hydrogen peroxide here. If we put some hydrogen peroxide into the two boiling tubes. This is 20 volume hydrogen peroxide. And on the left you can see that we've got a canned mushroom. And if we take a little slice of that and mash it up there a little, increasing the surface area. You can see on the right we've got a uncooked live mushroom and if we take a similar little slice of that and cut it up again again we've got a little bit of contamination from the scalpel if we then put the mushroom into the hydrogen peroxide you can see that the canned mushroom has very little effect but the Live mushroom produces bubbles of gas quite quickly. Let's just see if we can prevent the flow of that gas or reduce the flow of that gas out of the tube. So you can see a noticeable difference in the evolution of uh, gas, oxygen gas we hope, from here the live mushroom and none at all here in the canned mushroom. And of course the final part of the test is to do a glowing splint test to see if we can relight the splint and there. See if we can do that again. There's the glowing splint and in and relights. So that's quite a, an interesting example of destruction of an enzyme during the canning in the mushroom presumably a catalase, which catalyzes the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, producing oxygen quite rapidly with the live mushroom.